Okay, now in this portion, we will be talking about uh, the binary numeration system uh, and also the base 12 numeration system and the base 16 numeration system and converting that, um, converting uh, numerals in those bases, non-base 10 uh, systems to base 10. So talking about the binary numeration system first, so, of course, when we say binary, that's 2, diba? So, you have a base 2 raised to the power of n. So, uh, two, 2 raised to 0 is 1, and uh, 2 raised to 1 is 2, and then 2 raised to 2 is 4, 2 raised to 3 is 8. So, you have 1s and 2s and 4s and 8s as your place value system, and so on. So, since you have a binary numeration system, you are only using two digits, which are 0 and 2. Uh, these binary digits are called bytes. So this is an, an, uh, um, relate, related to what computer science students would know in, in their coding. This is a sample of how you would convert a base 2 numeral to base 10. So this is how they would uh, look like. So you have one zero one one zero one 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 um subscript two so that's base two and you want to convert that to base ten so same procedure lamang po ano po um the only uh, i think the major difference here is uh you're seeing a lot of ones and zeros and uh, it can get quite a bit lengthy or mahaba ano so the first thing that you would like to do is to count the number of uh, digits. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because uh, be careful doing that because you will get the, the wrong computation if you count it incorrectly. So this means that this 1 is in the 8th place value. So 8 minus 1. So you will raise your 2 here to 7. And then your 0. To 6 you will raise your 2 to 6 multiply that at the 0 and then your next one you multiply it with 2 raised to 5 and so on and so forth the last one here of course should be multiplied to 2 raised to 0 so again evaluating the the powers so 2 raised to 7 is 128 2 raised to 6 is 64 2 raised to 5 is 32, 2 raised to 4 is 16, 2 raised to 3 is 8, 2 raised to 2 is of course 4, 2 raised to 1 is 2, and 2 raised to 0 is 1. I think it's helpful if you already have um, a list of the place values of the binary <laughs> system. So you don't have to do it um, again and again. If you can memorize, that would be even uh, better, and so on. So getting the sum, you will be getting 183. That means the base 2 numeral 10110111 is equal to 183, uh, base 10. Okay, so practicing on this... Uh, Example, let me just rewrite it. I have one, two, three ones, and then another uh, set of three zeros, and then a one, zero, and a one. Okay, I would like to count the number of digits one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that correct? Yes, nine. And then, um, let me multiply each of the digits to the respective place value. So, since this one is in the ninth place, 2 raised to the 8. Plus 1 times 2 raised to the 7. Plus 1 times 2 raised to the 6. So, just a shortcut, I would be ignoring the zeros. <laughs> Since if I multiply 0 times 2 raised to the 5th, 
or 0 times 2 raised to the fourth power that would still equate to 0. So I will just skip that plus 1 raised to um, 2. So this is a 5, 4, and 3. So that raised to the 2. And then another 0 plus, let me skip this 0 as well, times 1 times uh, raised to times 2 raised to 0. So 1 times um, 2 raised to the 8 is 256. 1 times 2 raised to the 7 is 128. 1 times 2 raised to the 6 is 64. 1 times 2 raised to the 2 is 4. And 1 times 2 raised to 0 is 1. Getting the sum is 400. And fifty-five. So one 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 zero 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 one zero one of base two is equal to four hundred fifty-five of base ten. Now, how about the duodecimal numeration system? So here we have base twelve. So again, we we will use twelve distinct symbols or. Uh, Yes, we, we should call it symbols. So, uh, from 0 to 9, so this is, this is already 10 symbols, but we would not use 11 and 12, or 10 and 11, rather. Rather, we will use the letter, or the capital letter A and the capital letter B to signify, A would signify 10, and B would uh, signify or represent 11. So same case, uh, the difference here is now there are letters appearing. So again, if you say base 12, you, you, you will raise at the base 12 to the power of n and so on. So you have 1s and 12s and whatever 12 squared is, I think 144. Four. Um, we have an example here. So B37 subscript 12. I would like to convert that to base 10. So B, if you would remember, is 11. A is 10, B is um, 11, and the rest of the numerals are the symbols 0 to 9. So B is 11. Um, you multiply that to its place value, 12 raised to 2, since it's, it's in the third place, 3 minus 1, plus 3, the second uh, digit here times 12 raised to the ones and of course 7 times 10 raised to the or times 12 raised to the zero so if we evaluate the powers and multiply that to the digits so you would be getting 1627 okay now practicing on this we have a5 b raised to the 12 and we would convert that to base 10 so a is um a is 10 times 12 raised to the second power so since it's in the third place plus of okay so this is just 5 12 raised to the 1 and b is um, 11 if you remember correctly 12 raised to the 0 so 11 times 1 plus right here 5 times 12 of course and then um, 10 times let me check 2 times 2 is 4 2 yes 1 4 4 Okay, so this is 5 times 12 is 60, and 10 times uh, 144 is 1,440. So if we get the sum, that would mean A5B base 12 is equal to 1,511 of base 10.
Now, computer programmers would also use the hexadecimal systems or system that is base 16. So again, we will be using the symbol 0 to 9, so 10 na ito. But instead of 10, A, instead of 11, B, C would represent 12, D would represent 13, E would represent 14, and 15 is represented by F. Okay po. This is, this is to avoid confusion. Like for example, if you have um, A, 6, F. So this actually means that this is um, 10, 6, and F is 15. Now if you would write it like this, it would look like 10615, no? Instead of 10, 6, and 15. That's why... Uh, the use of the letters I th so you have your guide here since uh, there's quite a lot of letters already so the the, the, the process is the same we, we are just using the same process so base 16 raised to the values of or powers of n so 3 e 8 16 remember e is 14 f is 15 since f is 15 so 14 right here so if you do the powers if you evaluate the powers and multiply that to the respective um, digits uh, you get the, the magic number 1000 let's have a practice right here so i have c24 and c24 rather f subscript 16 and i have to convert it to base 10 so c2 and 4 and f 16 so c is 12 times 16 it's on the fourth one so the power here is 3 plus 2 times 16 raised to 2 um, and plus 4 times 16 raised to 1 plus f is 15 times 16 raised to 0. Okay. Um, let's start from the rightmost since it's easiest. So 15 times 1 plus uh, 4 times 16 plus 2 times 16 squared is 256 actually plus let me just erase this one. Uh, 12 times 16 cubed is uh, quite a large number. 400 or 4,096. Sige, um, let me just evaluate this. This is equivalent to 49,152. Well, this one is 512. 4 times 16 is 64. And 15 times 1 is, of course, 15. If we get the sum, this is 49,743. C24F base 16 is equivalent to this much in base 10.